adding DeRozan and Ball, two guys who facilitate as well. Do um, Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic take a step back in the offense, or are they still the focal point? No, I think those two guys have to be focal points for you. I, I think bigger picture is do those two guys have more of an impact on the other side of the ball defensively. And I get back to that. Can, can they be difference makers there? Look, Vooch and, and, and Zach Levine, from a skill standpoint and their ability to put the ball in the basket, uh, the, no questions at all with that. And that's not the question about their team. The, the question is, can those guys be deterrents defensively? When you look at Zach Levine, physically as gifted as anybody on the perimeter. And Vooch, offensively as well, very gifted with what he brings to the table. But the question is, can those guys now become plus players defensively? Can they become guys that are assets on the defensive side and not liabilities? And I think that's going to be the biggest challenge for this entire team. Can they do it there? Because if you look at that Eastern Conference, that's where the challenge is going to lie. Their ability to get stops, to get out in transition, uh, going to be critical. Lonzo Ball, I think, is a plus defender. I think that's got to permeate throughout that, that lineup for this team to now become one that we look at as being a potential playoff contender. DeRozan has been an all-star. Levine, uh, an all-star last year. Vucevic, also a recent all-star. Uh, of those three guys, who do you see making the all-star team uh, this upcoming season? I still think Levine is the guy that's got the highest ceiling of that trio. And, and DeMar DeRozan is still a terrific player, but you, you could make the argument that He's probably peaked in terms of what his ceiling is. I think he can sustain it for a while. And I think Vooch is in a similar scenario to DeMar DeRozan. I do think Zach Levine is the one guy that can still aspire to higher heights, if, if that's even possible when you look at what he's been able to do here the last couple seasons. But I do think he is the guy. He's the face of the franchise. He's the guy that now has to take on more of a leadership role. I think that's the one element also when you look at this team. Who's their leader? You know, it, it's a quiet locker room. They don't have a lot of guys that are going to be comfortable speaking and talking and holding each other accountable. I think Zach Levine's the guy that's got to be that. The problem, though, is it's always hard when that's not your nature. That's not your personality. And that's something that if you're Billy Donovan, you got to be concerned about. Who's going to be that coach on the team? Not the coaches on the, on the, on the floor, but I'm talking about the guy that kind of sets the tone for how things go. Who's organizing? Leadership is so valuable at this level, and that's the area for me when I look at the Bulls. I'm waiting to see who's going to take that mantle for this group.